Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome back to my channel. I have three very, very good comics to talk to you about this week. Uh, it's been a light week for me. I have been very busy this week with uh, NiceCon that has been going on in Bedford. Um, I love, I love that comic book convention. I really, really, really do. Uh, it's my second year there now this year, and. It just, it's fantastic that the people that you meet, the writers, the, the artists, the, uh, the, the independent creators, they're all fantastic. So I will be doing a video with, uh, with everything I've got from NICE, with uh, all the interesting books and things that I've got signed. I'll probably be doing that in the next few weeks just to show you guys what's, uh, what, what, what happened with that. But, uh, but this week, uh, I, three major comics I have to, have to talk to you about. Um, for anyone that's been following along with me, Die, this is issue 7. This is, is still, without a doubt, one of the best comics out there. It really, really is. It's, um, as I keep saying, it's like Jumanji, but uh, with D&D. &D. This, this is, a, is a slightly different issue. It kind of takes you away from the main story. Um, the main characters have kind of split up, and this follows uh, a couple of the other characters, which is... Which is a bit of a shame for me, because the the last one left on such a bit of a like a cliffhanger that I really wanted to find out what happened. Um, but this one sets up a, a a lot. It really, really does. There's it, it seems like there's going to be a lot coming in the next few issues. Um, it's definitely built into something very big, very interesting, and it, it could be quite uh, quite a conclusion to to this particular arc. Um, really looking forward to it actually I, I I wasn't a big fan of the two characters that uh, have been portrayed portrayed in this issue but because of this issue it delves deeper into them as characters and because of that they're fleshed out that little bit more and uh, and you really just come around to them really one of them being a bit of a dick Chuck and he's still a bit of a dick but he's kind of lovable <laughs> But um, but it sets a lot of things up. Okay, again, won't be spoiling too much. But it it really does seem like there's this kind of dark cloud over the, over all of these heroes <laughs> um, now, and uh, and it's going to be very interesting to see uh, what happens in the next few issues. Um, probably going to be another three, I think, potentially of this arc. I think the first one was five issues for that five issue arc. So we're two issues into this one. It's going to be an interesting three issues now. It really is. Next, we have the deseasoning. So, this I wasn't even too sure it was happening. This is, as I haven't spoken, this is a horror movie variant of Deceased. This is again another kind of spin off. Um, so, the Deceased is, is talking mainly about the, the main Justice League heroes. It's left on a Bit of a downer with with issue four, and again looking forward to seeing how they how they balance it out. This one I thought might have been a one off, but the way it ends, it's definitely not. This one is is going to be potentially another one, maybe two. Um, and again, it's it's coming from the other side of the more fringe heroes. Um, to start off, you you meet uh, Booster Gold and Blue Beetle. I've never been particularly big fans of them. I thought they were handled very very well in Heroes in Crisis. Um, but as soon as they turned up in this, I, I, I lost lost a little bit of interest, I have to admit. But quickly got my interest back um, when they went to Liverpool, uh, uh, England, to go and see John Constantine. Uh, this is written by Tom Taylor still, and he, he he's just got Constantine down. He really does. It's He's sarcastic, he's arrogant, but he's really, really good at what he does. And it's... It's amazing to see what Constantine does in this issue. It really is. And it's because of him that I am now really looking forward to the second part of this. It's very, very good. Very good. So that is the deseasoning. That is issue one of a potential, I don't know how many, probably going to be two or three, maybe four. Um, but yeah, looking forward to that and also still looking forward to, to finishing of uh, Deceased hopefully in the next few months. Last, but by no means least, is actually one 
of the comics that I was suggested to get by someone, Sean. Um, this is Conan the Barbarian, Exodus. This is written and drawn by Esad Ribic. Uh, I mean, that front cover, look at that, it's just... His artwork is fantastic. This this is beautiful artwork, and seeing him at the con, seeing him do his do his stuff, was just an absolute wonder. It really, really was. Uh, the, the, just his oil paintings. He makes it look so effortless. He really does. And this is a very different comic. This is a very different comic in the fact that. There is hardly any speech or narration in this comic. Everything is pretty much told through the images. And it's fantastic. It really is. His art is so incredibly detailed and so well thought out. You do not need words to tell you what's going on or to describe anything to you. There are a few words in it, but they aren't in English. They're in, I believe, Sumerian. And... That really makes me want to translate it. I really, really want to. I think I might have to do that at some point. But this is a phenomenal issue. Um, for anyone who, who is, is a fan of Conan, has been reading the Conan series, I would strongly suggest picking this up. If you haven't been reading the Conan main series, I would strongly suggest picking this up anyway. Because like I said, this artwork is absolutely stunning. I do think there are very few people in comics at the moment who can do artwork as good as this. Um, and it's it's just an absolute wonder to, to, to look at. It really is. So like I say, a couple of the speech bubbles there, nothing in English, but it really, really doesn't matter. The, everything in this is absolutely stunning. It really, really is. And like I said, seeing him do, obviously, what he is very, very good at at the con was just amazing. It really was. So, those are the three very different comics, but equally good. Um, if you have read any of those, don't forget to let me know in the comments. Comments, tell me what you thought of them. If you haven't read any of them, I do strongly suggest picking at least one of these up and uh, and let me know what you think. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and I'll keep you updated on everything as it goes. And like I said, I will be giving you an update on, uh, on NiceCon soon enough. Until next time.